Taxi Fontas has posted this on Instagram. He said, I did not use the word I'm being accused of using. That despicable racial slur is one I denounce and did not use. We had a hot discussion on the field, but I have not racially abused anyone. I firmly reject racism in any form. It is despicable. I have many friends from many cultures. I always respect the culture, religion, and skin color of each person. I am therefore very upset by this accusation and saddened to be falsely accused. Sebastian Salazar is now joining us to discuss the incident further. Thanks for being with us, Sebi. What's the latest on the whole situation? And as a DC United fan, how do you feel about it all? Mm. Uh, well, MLS will investigate the league, saying in a statement they have zero tolerance for this kind of thing, which you would expect. There is some precedent here, uh, as far as this is concerned, in Major League Soccer. A year ago, there was an incident with Diego Chara, a Portland Timbers player who was allegedly racially abused by a Minnesota United player, Franco Fragapane. In that case, MLS investigated. They couldn't corroborate what was said on the field, and so there was no suspension. But according to what we just heard there from not just DeAndre Yedlin, but Phil Neville himself, uh, it sounds like there's going to be plenty of people that can corroborate what was said or what wasn't said on this field. So I'd be expecting a, a big suspension. Obviously, as a DC United fan, it's an, it's an incredible disappointment. I hope the league and the club will do their due diligence, look through what happened here. But if they can confirm these allegations, it's just another dark cloud hanging over this team. It's been a brutal season. And Taxi Fontas was one of the bright spots in that brutal season. He was a guy who came in midway through the campaign, got off to a great start as a DP. But uh, obviously, I think, uh, as a fan anyway, it's going to be really hard to root for this player if these allegations are corroborated. So you obviously, you, you've alluded to what you think is going to happen there, Seb. What do you expect to happen next? What are the next steps? Mm. Well, MLS will do their investigation. Then I think it's just a matter of if they can corroborate it, which, again, it sounds like what we're hearing from the inner Miami side, at least, um, they will be able to. It's a matter of how long will that suspension be. I'm trying to think of kind of comparables. We saw Sebastian Legette get just a two-game suspension for a homophobic slur that he was caught using. Um, but we've also seen cases like Deloy Hansen, the owner for Real Salt Lake, who eventually lost his team over allegations of racism. So there's a lot of gray area there for what MLS could do here. I'll tell you this, DC United has two games left in their regular season. I can't imagine that we will see Taxi playing for DC United again this season. Again, that's if these allegations are corroborated uh, by Major League Soccer. And I would be very surprised if he starts next season. This would probably be a very lengthy suspension, one that lasts into the next campaign for DC United. And something we saw there as well, Shaka, was that the players and the coaches have taken things into their own hands there in saying that, you know, we're not going to continue if he continues on the pitch. I, and I, I thought that was a, a sensible approach by, by the players. And, and to, to Sebi's point, as much as you expect, uh, MLS will have their investigation, um, I, despite what Taxi Fontas may, may be saying on social media. Um, I, I'm not sure how, how he gets away with this. Um, given that other players from Inter Miami corroborated what was what was said or, or, or allegedly said, given the fact that both managers came together on the sidelines and and he was he was substituted, the referees couldn't take any further action because they hadn't heard it themselves. Um, but as far as as precedent goes, we are just two weeks short of two years to the day. Junior Fleming, but playing playing in the USL uh, for Phoenix Rising, was accused of using a homophobic slur against uh, Colin Martin. Uh, Lana Donovan was in charge of, of, of San Diego Loyal at, at the time, and they refused to come back on the pitch. Um, they forfeited the game, but he stood by, by his player, who said that, that Junior Fleming had used a homophobic slur against him. Junior Fleming was suspended six games. So at the very least, that is where, where, where that is the precedent. Uh, so to, to, to Sebi's point, we will not be seeing him again this season. Two games and we won't see him for the first, uh, I, I, as I say, at, at the very least, first four or five games of next season either. Fontas has that to look forward to, um, despite what, what he may be claiming. Um, I, the league have also set their own mark. They're a zero, to zero uh, tolerance policy league, and we expect them to act as such. Because that's what we are dealing with these days as well. Players can make a statement themselves. Yeah. They can push that pressure too, and, and that's always been a good thing to say. Sebi, thanks so much for being with us. We'll keep everybody up to date with what happens next. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.